Hi guys, salamat sa inyong patuloy na ginagawang pagsubaybay dito sa ating discussions about statics of rigid bodies. At ang ating magiging uh, topic ngayon guys ay ito namang may kinalaman sa friction. At naganda ako sa inyo ng ilang mga problems na sa tingin ko ay makatutulong sa inyo para lalo ninyong maintindihan ang konsepto ng friction at makatulong sa inyo sa inyong preparation sa pagkuha ninyo ng board exam. At narito yung ating uh, sample problem guys. Pag-aralan natin. Sa unang problem, meron tayo dito ng uh, bodies that are joined together by a cord which is parallel to the inclined plane as shown in the figure. Under the block A, which weighs 200 pounds and whose coefficient of friction is equal to 0.3 while okay, under block B, the coefficient of friction is 0.5 and its weight is 300 pounds. From here, we are required to determine the angle theta at which the motion impends and what is then the tension in the cord. So let us try to make an analysis of the problem. So in the problem, we are given here the coefficient of static friction under block A. So, let us throw, show it there. Pakita natin. So, meron din tayo ditong coefficient of friction okay, under block B na 0.5. And the weight of two blocks are given. So dito sa analysis natin, okay, kinakailangan maintindihan natin ito yung konsepto ng friction. Ano? Sabi dito kasi, kung sakali na walang cable na nagko-connecta dito sa blocks A and B, then it will be observed that block A will move first at a smaller angle of inclination because this coefficient of static friction between block A and the inclined plane is smaller than that of the coefficient of friction between the block B and A, the inclined plane. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? So, if we're going to recall the concept about the angle of friction, we will realize that block A will slide down the plane at an angle equal to arc tangent of 0.3. O kung kukumpiti natin, ito ay 16.7 degrees. While this block B will slide down the plane okay, when the angle theta or the angle of inclination of the plane is equal to arc tangent of 0.5 or when theta is 26.57 degrees. At this, and this will happen if there will be no cable that connects the two blocks. And then assuming natin na yung blocks are initially placed on a horizontal plane and the plane is inclined gradually until the blocks move. Siguro mas maganda kung uh, uh, isipin natin yung ganong konsepto na Kunwari ay tinanggal natin itong uh, cable that connects A and B at inilatag muna natin sila sa isang horizontal plane. And then we increase the plane okay, until, okay, gradually until the blocks move. And this is what will happen. Okay? So assuming natin that the two blocks here are separated and then placed in a horizontal surface like this one as shown in the figure you'll notice that they have, there is no cable that connects the two blocks. And imagine natin that the plane is okay, uh, inclined gradually until okay, blocks A and B moves. So, ano yung mangyayari? So, imagine natin that the plane is inclined gradually until okay, the inclination becomes 19.7 na gaya ng ipinakita ko, binanggit ko kanina. It is the Okay, angle at which block A will slide down the plane because it is equal to okay, arc tangent of the coefficient of friction of 0.3 and you will have a 19.7 degrees. So, let us try to imagine, okay, observe what will happen. Now, let us try to increase the plane and at this instant that the angle is already 19.7 degrees, okay, ano, ano ang mangyayari ito? Yung block A will start to move. Kagalaw dito, no? will start to move. And further increase in the inclination will now cause block A to move 
downward. So, kapag in-increase pa ulit natin siya, okay, maobserbahan natin that this block will move. But, when the angle now becomes 26.57 degree, ito naman yung angle that block B, okay, will start moving. Because this angle is the angle equivalent to arc tangent of the coefficient of static friction between block B and this plane. So that, okay, when the angle becomes, okay, 26.57 degree, block B will now have an impending motion. And further increase in the angle will now cause block B to move. And this is what we will observe. Kapag in-increase pa ulit natin yung ating block B, then, okay, both, okay, blocks A and B continue to move down the plane. Now, again, Okay, that is uh, what will happen if the two blocks are separated. Ba? You will see that block A will move down first at an angle of 19.7 and block B will follow if the inclination is increased further until the angle becomes greater than 26.57. But the case is that they are not actually separated. They are connected to each other, okay? Hence, block A cannot move at 19.7 degrees. But at a certain angle between 19.7 degrees and 26.57 degrees. And the angle can be computed when the blocks are analyzed as a unit. Now, for going to okay, consider the situation that they are connected to each other, and let us imagine that they are placed again initially on a horizontal surface. So, ibalik natin scenario at this time, eh, yung blocks A and B are connected with the cable. We try to increase the plane, okay, uh, gradually until okay, the angle is already equal to 19.7. Ipakita natin. Okay, kunwari, itong angle ay increase natin. Then, at this time, then when this angle is already 19.7, dapat itong block A is already moving. There's already an impending motion of the block A kung walang connection. But, okay, at this instance, sabi dito, A is supposed to start sliding. But its movement is prevented by the connecting cable because block B at this angle remains stationary. At 19.7, B is not yet moving. So, A is being prevented by B from moving at 19.7. Then, if we're going to increase further, the angle will cause them to start moving. Although block B, okay, sabi nga kanina, itong block B will start to move only at an angle of 26.57. But the movement of this block will start earlier as B is being pulled by block A beyond 19.7 degrees. Kasi nga, itong block B naman ay hinahatak nitong block A kapag itong angle theta is already greater than 19.7. Bagamat aasahan sana natin na itong block B will only start moving at 26.57 but okay, because of the pull of A beyond 19.7, then block B will start moving earlier than 26.57. And at that instant, Okay. It is also the point when the tension in the cable starts to have an increasing value. So what shall we do? Okay. So let us further increase the angle and see what will happen until they are about to sleep. So when we increase that, okay, at this angle theta, ito yung ating inahanap, then the two will sleep. Okay. At this instant, at an angle greater than 90 but less than 26.57, the blocks are already on the verge of motion. Okay. And then increasing further, the, the angle will cause them to move as shown in this particular animation that I have prepared for you. Let us try to look. Okay, you will notice that at this instant, okay, blocks A and B move, but we are looking for this angle theta. What is this angle theta that okay, caused them to start moving? Okay, so let's start to analyze going back to the condition that when the blocks are about to move. So let's go bring back the okay, blocks and the angle theta. Okay, to which the two are about to move. Okay, showing the forces acting on the system of the blocks. So let us try to indicate the forces because block A has a weight of 200 pounds. Okay, and block B has a weight of 300 pounds. Then, okay, 
when we consider the axis that is parallel to the plane to be our x-axis, then we shall have this axis perpendicular to it as our y-axis. Hence, there will be a component of uh, okay, the weight that is perpendicular to the x-axis or perpendicular to the plane or simply parallel to the y-axis. So, we have here this component as shown and that value okay, will be at angle theta with respect to, to this vertical okay, uh, weight because the plane is inclined at an angle theta and therefore this angle will also be equal to this theta. Similarly, on the other side, there will also be a component of this uh, okay, 300 pound perpendicular to the inclined plane and the same angle at an angle theta. So from there, we will have uh, the normal force acting or exerted by the plane upon A and we will be calling it N sub A. Furthermore, there shall be also a normal force acting upon this B exerted by this plane, and we will call this as N sub B. Okay? Because the direction of motion is downward, then we shall expect that okay, there will be a frictional force exerted by the plane upon the blocks and whose direction is upward. Similarly, on the other blocks, there will be a frictional force that is exerted by the plane upon the block and whose direction is also upward. And since it is about to move, therefore, it is still in state of equilibrium and therefore, it will follow the condition of equilibrium. That, if we will solve the total normal force by summing of forces along the y-axis equal to zero, then, okay, summing of forces along y equal to zero. Okay, we will consider all the forces directed in this direction and we will find that, okay, we will be assuming, okay, that these two, okay, will be positive. Therefore, the sum of this, Okay, which is which is uh, called as the total normal force, the sum of n sub a and n sub b, okay, shall be equal to the component of this uh, weight perpendicular to the plane and that is equal to 200 cosine of theta plus 300 cosine of theta. Then from here we can solve for the total okay, frictional force developed, which shall be equal to f. Okay, uh, and that is equal to F sub A plus F sub B. That this F sub A plus F sub B will be equal to okay, the coefficient of okay, static friction of the block A multiplied by the normal force plus okay, the coefficient of static friction on this block B okay, multiplied by the normal force. That is equal to 0.5 multiplied by 300 cosine of theta. That if these two will be simplified, we shall have okay, 60 cosine of theta plus 15 cosine of theta, which will be equal to 210 cosine of theta. Then if we're going to okay, consider okay, the summation of force along x, this one, okay, and assuming okay, that this force shall be directed up to the plane shall be positive, therefore we have the sum of the frictional forces F sub A plus F sub B shall be equal, okay, to this component of uh, the force parallel to the plane that is equal to 200 sine of theta and this component parallel to the plane which is equal to 300 sine of theta. That if this will be simplified, we shall have F sub A plus F sub B equal to 500 okay, sine of theta. But, okay, a while ago, from equation what that we have considered, this F sub T represents the total frictional force F sub A plus F sub B. That, okay, if this will be substituted in the equation, therefore, 210 cosine of theta representing the sum of F sub A plus F sub B coming from equation 1 shall be equal to 500 sine of theta. And then from here, simplifying, we shall have, okay, uh, dividing both sides by cosine of theta, then we shall have sine of theta over cosine of theta equal to 210 over 500 and that from here theta, tangent of theta will be equal to 0.42 giving us an angle of theta equal to 22.78. And this angle is actually the angle between the two angle of frictions between A and B. Now in order to solve for the tension in the cable, then we isolate one of the blocks as free body diagram with the angle of inclination of uh, the computed value as 22.78. Now let us try to find out this angle. Okay, if this angle will be okay, substituted with that value of 22.78, then, okay, and then considering this as our y-axis, 
then summing of force along y giving us equal to zero therefore we shall be getting an equation that okay the normal force shall be equal to 200 cosine of theta if we were to solve for uh, okay, the frictional force, the frictional force will be equal to 0 0.3 multiplied by 200 cosine of theta. Then from here, we shall be getting an Fa equal to 60 cosine of theta. So that solving for the tension in the cable T, okay, then summing of forces along x equal to 0, then assuming that this direction will be positive, hence we shall be have an equation that T plus kt plus f sub a because these two are both directed up to the right now minus this component of the weight which is 200 sine of theta equal to zero from there we shall be getting the value of t which is equal to 200 sine of theta minus f sub a now if f sub a will be substituted with the value okay therefore you shall have 200 sine of theta minus 60 cosine of theta but Okay, we have already taken and computed the value of theta to be 22.78 here. Hence, if this will be substituted in this angle theta, we shall be getting a t equal to 20, 200 sine of 22.78 minus cosine of 22.78, giving us a value of t equal to 22.11. And so, guys, uh, yun yung ating uh, solution sa first problem which I have presented. Madali lamang yung uh, problem. As a matter of fact, uh, you can uh, solve that easily and faster. But I have just made an explanation for us to be able to understand deeper the concept of friction. At sana nakatulong sa inyo itong first sample problem that I have presented to you on this okay, uh, topic. Thank you guys. Okay, sana ay patuloy nyo akong subaybayan by subscribing to this channel. Once again, Thank you very much for watching.